Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I wanted to uh, respond to a uh, question from Ethan that uh, he sent over our uh, YouTube channel. And uh, Ethan talks about uh, the negative symptoms of uh, how they're really devastating his life and uh, he's fearful that uh, he'll never be into a relationship uh, due to his uh, uh, illness and, and uh, his negative symptoms. And first of all, uh, to respond to that, uh, Ethan, I want to... Uh, one, talk about what negative symptoms are, and uh, in order to do that, you need to know what positive symptoms are as well. So basically, with schizophrenia, positive symptoms are symptoms that are added to your personality that shouldn't be there. For example, if we hear voices, if we have hallucinations, uh, if we're paranoid, um, if we're, our senses become uh, heightened, uh, those things, they shouldn't be part of our personality. And when they are, it's called a psychosis or positive symptoms. As well with negative symptoms of schizophrenia, negative symptoms can also be called deficit symptoms. And these symptoms are symptoms that are lacking from our personality, but should be there. For example, with negative symptoms, we lack a lack of motivation, a lack of drive, a lack of energy. We have an emotional bluntness, an emotional blandness, a depression can set in. Those are known as negative symptoms. And in my situation, with my situation, I experienced positive symptoms in my uh, 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 illness. However, uh, with medication, they were, were totally controlled. Uh, uh, eventually, I did get back into reality, and, and I stayed into reality. And uh, to this day, I take antipsychotic medication to keep me into reality. However, with the negative symptoms, I did suffer a lot from the negative symptoms. I was depressed. I was uh, lack of energy, lack of motivation. However, what we need to remember, Ethan, is that this, is that even though with our positive symptoms, we may not have a lot of control over our positive symptoms. If our medication isn't working properly and we do have certain signs uh, of positive symptoms, um, they they are harder to deal with because basically that's a biochemical. Sure, we can help things by alleviating our stress level and try keeping our, our, our triggers down, our stresses down that could uh, uh, result in a uh, episode of positive symptoms. But really with positive symptoms, we don't have a lot of control over that unless we really have found the right medication. In saying that, the good news here is that with negative symptoms, Negative symptoms, even, even though they're part of the illness, we can kind of override, override them through uh, learning tools, override by system or, or uh, you know, uh, stick to uh, overriding by being persistent uh, with our negative symptoms. And I know that it, it sounds hard because I know that with negative symptoms, a lot of times we're just very lethargic, no energy. But these are the things that over time that we can work on and change on. Um, for example, uh, the, working with negative symptoms is known as things on psychosocial rehabilitation. And our goal should be if we have a desire to want a better quality of life and if we are hindered by our negative symptoms, these things can be overcome by basically doing, uh, but by seeking that, by, by trying to to help, seek out help, try to seek help, out help regarding your negative symptoms and getting back as far as a participant back into life. And there's many things that we can do. There's many things that we can work on with ourselves. And that's things as looking as our things, our skills, the things that we can do well, the things that we have gifts or talents for. And it's not, it's, it's just a certain, it's a searching process of working with negative symptoms. And uh, I'll comment more on negative symptoms and some specific things how to battle negative symptoms in tomorrow's uh, uh, video blog. So thank you for tuning in, Ethan. I hope I answered your question. And if you have a, a question for me, just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com or go into our website at mentalwellnesstoday.com. And uh, remember, we truly want to be your partner in mental wellness. So have a great day.